Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Sam making chicken cordon glue soup. Right, I'm starting out in a stock pot. I have a quarter of a cup of butter I melted, or a half a stick. And I'm going to add in one small onion I diced up. And I'm going to allow this to saute in here for a few minutes until the onions soften up. Right, now that my onion fried for a few minutes and it's softened up, I'm going to add in some pre diced garlic. If you use fresh, use one clove. I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to dice stir quick, get that going. And I'm going to turn my heat down on low at this point. Now I have a quarter cup of flour I'm going to add in. I'm going to allow that to simmer in that butter for a few minutes to get the flour taste out of the flour. For another my flour cooked for a few minutes and the flour tastes out of it, I'm going to add in three cups of chicken broth. And this is a four cup container so I'm going to eyeball it. Stir that in. little more. Now I'm going to add in a cup of heavy whipping cream and a cup of milk. I have them both together in this two cup measuring cup. You could also use two cups of half and half, whatever you have on hand. I'm going to turn my heat up to medium now. All right, now this is starting to warm up. I have an eight ounce block of cream cheese here I allowed to soften up on the kitchen table for about an hour or so. I'm going to get this in here. And I'm going to melt it down into that milk broth mixture. And make sure you soften up your cream cheese because this can be a son of a gun if you don't. So you get it to dissolve in there to melt. So I'm going to get this in here and get it all dissolved. For right, now that my cream cheese is melted in here, I have a cup and a half of Swiss cheese I shredded up. That's going to go in. We're going to put that in there. That Swiss cheese and poured on blue. You see that melts almost instantly. Now I have two chicken breasts here that I boiled in some salt water and I shredded them up. They're down in there. These were boneless, skinless. You could also buy a rotisserie chicken if you want, so it's going to cost you a little more, but it'll be easier. And then I have some cubed ham. It's a two cup container. I'm going to put it in half for one cup. All right, I'm going to allow this to simmer for a few minutes for that ham to heat through, everything to get nice and cooked. And I'll taste it for uh, Salt, if it needs a little salt, add some salt to it. I left this simmer for probably about five minutes. I added about a half a teaspoon of salt, and that's all it needed because the ham was salty and there was some salt in the cheese. This is ready to go, guys. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. I went ahead and I garnished this with a little fresh parsley for some added color and a little bit of flavor. I'm going to get here and try this. You can see how the heavy cream, the flour, and the Swiss cheese thickening that up nicely. Try a piece of chicken first. It's tender. Picked up the flavor of that broth. It's creamy, cheesy. Try a piece of ham. Guys, that's really delicious. Warming, comfort food at its best. And it's good for this cold weather right now we're having in Pennsylvania. Chicken cordon blue soup. Thanks for watching and supporting me. Remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.